Hi folks and welcome to this second video on the Sumiko catch. So you may notice that it looks a bit different and that's because this coloured piece of card you can turn it over. You can take the plastic front off and turn it over. It's a nice idea. It is isn't it? Mm. So I've done that. That's why it looks a bit different. So since the last video I've had some runaways. I had to go and get the polar bear. I like how they leave a note in the room. Yeah, and Totatsku has run away now. So first of all, I'm going to get Totatsku back. Okay. And another thing that's happened is I've got dust sprites in the room. Right. All the rooms. Right, so it needs a good so clean. The, yeah, the rooms need cleaning. Does it bother them when they get dust sprites? Well, if you don't clean the dust sprites... They get bigger and bigger until you can't even see anything on the right, screen. Right. It's quite funny, actually, okay. when they get really, really big. So you can see the dust sprite straight away. Ah, yeah. He also wants feeding the bear. But first of all, we're going to get this Totatsku back because he's left this note here. Ah, so you can't tell what you said, can you? But obviously I just been, know that he said... He's um, a bit upset about something. Yeah. See you later, sort of thing. Okay, so you use this stick. Is that the one that picks them up by the ears? So first of all, you've got to press confirm that you're going to go and find them. Right. And he's in this this very sort of bleak looking room. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Is that like it meant to represent his mental outlook? I don't know. Is it, is but it a dark place, as people it's, say? <laughs> it's not. It's not friendly, is it? No. And he's pacing backwards and forwards like he's waiting mm. to be taken back there. So he'll be back in his room now. But he's got dust sprites as well. Get rid of those dust sprites then. Okay. So we'll go to someone else's room. <laughs> Neko's. And he's looking after his grass. Yes. He wants a stroke as well. I'll do that in a minute, Neko. I just want to get rid of these dust sprites. So I think it's like the feather duster ah. symbol. And then we've got to use like the sort of pickup tool. I think I remember now from seeing other people's. Yes, you help Neko clean the room. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you pick him up and down. Oh, look, it's all good as new. Well done, Neko. So, he's happy now. He's gone back to watering his grass friend. Oh, who's gone now? Is that the polar bear? Oh, they're, they're ever so touchy. <laughs> so, we'll find... Oh, no, it's Takage. 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 Toka it's Takage, isn't it? You say Takage. Yeah, I think he must have left because he's um not liking all these dust sprites in the mm. room. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. he wants a shower as well. Well, I'm not surprised with all those dust sprites. Get rid of the dust sprites first before he has a shower. Right. There's, there's like a sound effect. I can hear it, yeah. Sounds like fireworks. Oh, good. Green room. I thought he needed a shower, though. He doesn't. He's not asking for a shower now, Maybe is he? he? Just, he just felt dirty because the room was dirty. Ah, uh, that's probably it. He's, uh, he's cuddling his, his little plushie that's in the shape oh, of his mum. cutie. Oh, I do sort of pity mm. to car gay. And the polar bear. Let's get rid of those sprites. So, do the rooms need cleaning Cleaning quite often? This is the first... No, actually, this is the second time. Oh, his room's really yeah. uh, messy. That must have been... That must be why... Oh, no, he didn't run away. It was the other one that ran away. Oh, look, they're all happy now. Oh, that's good. Neko wants a shower now. So we'll give Neko a shower. 
Um, what are those lines? Uh, displeasure. Uh, is that because he's feeling dirty? He wants to shower. That's probably why his little grass friend's gone out the room because he's a mm. bit smelly. <laughs> he's looking in through the window. Come on, Neko. Time for a shower. So that's the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've got to use the uh, first time I've seen hand the tool. First time I've seen a bathroom. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It's all clean mm, again. Very nice. And now he wants, now he wants something to eat. Is that, does he always show that symbol? Does he always want pancakes? I think pancakes is just the symbol to show uh, I want to be, yeah. I want some food. Looks like he's content now. Yes, chomping on some grass. So in the next part of this video, we're going to concentrate on two characters. This green penguin, you can see him in his room and that's him there. Mm -hmm. And Totatsuku. Is that, that's the pork uh, off cut, is it? The, uh... Yes, this one Friday here, because in the last video, I gave you the background stories for the polar bear, Neko the cat, and Takage, the baby dinosaur. But not the penguin. Or Totatsuku. Mm. And we'll also look at the games for okay. the penguin and Totatsuku. Right. And I will include in the description links to the two animations with English subtitles for the background, the backstory of the green penguin and the fatty bit of the cutlet. <laughs> with breadcrumbs on it. So the green penguin it is actually called penguin with a question mark. Mm-hmm. He's got a bit of an identity crisis because he's never met another creature that looks the same as him. Right. And he doesn't sort of... Well, he didn't feel like he fit in anywhere and he was forever looking. He's still, he's still looking. I mean, that's why he's looking in that book now. He's forever trying to research to find another green penguin, another right, of right. his kind. But... Since he met the other Samikos in a corner of the room, he has found others that are like him. Yeah. Not, they don't look like him, mm. but they have the same spirit. S similar problems. Yeah, they have the same spirit, they're yeah. friends. So we'll have a look at Penguin Question Mark's game. Okay. So we've got to come out of his room first and go to the map. Oh, he's playing the recorder. <laughs> Was he playing the recorder? Oh, I think so, yeah. I think he was m more eating one of those. Is it cucumbers he eats? Oh, <laughs> was it that? Is that what is it, it was? Is it pickled yeah. cucumbers? So we'll go to the games arcade and we're going to choose the penguins game. So this is quite interesting because. The green penguin, when he was trying to fit in with others, and mm -hmm. he, he he saw some birds, some green birds flying in the sky, and he was trying to fly, but he couldn't oh, fly. A shame. But in this game, you kind of give him the ability to fly, oh. which is quite nice. So you pick him up. Yeah. And you've got yeah. to try oh. and avoid... Oh! Oh, I've lost a life. It, it's not easy. Oh, I've lost another life. You've got to avoid the birds. Yeah. <laughs> that oh, didn't last slow. very long there. I like that game. I like the control <laughs> mechanism. The, yeah. yeah, it's nice, isn't mm. it? I didn't get anything there. Oh, got three minutes now. Five. Oh. 
seven. They're not minutes, are they? They go too fast to be minutes. I'm not sure what they are. Oh, look at that. You've got 200. 200, yeah. 200 coins. I must say, that is really nice to sort of be able to use mm. that. Just pulling it up and down rather yeah. than pressing a button, pressing isn't button, it? Yeah, yeah. All that flapping about has made them hungry. I thought he looked really cute, flapping his wings like that, <laughs> trying to fly. Yeah. Uh, he's researching again, seeing if he can find a green penguin. I like his method of research, combining it with music. <laughs> Helps him concentrate. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to look at to Tokatsu, who is both our least favourite character because... We find it all very disturbing. Look, this is what I mean. So what he is, is the fatty piece of, I believe it's a, some sort of cutlet, a pork cutlet, I think. And he was a leftover. Mm -hmm. And his little friend in the corner here is the tail end of a shrimp. A shrimp, yeah. That was also a leftover. Yeah. They ran away. They jumped off the plate and ran away because they were going to be thrown away. And their life's ambition is to be eaten. End up inside somebody's stomach. So this is why the the little shrimp tail thing is putting pieces of lemon on him and he's lying <laughs> on, a, on a plate. Uh, I find it very disturbing. It reminds me of that thing from Hitchhiker's Guide Through the Galaxy. Oh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, yeah. The... Uh... The baby suckling pig type thing on a plate that wanted to be eaten. Yes. At, at Millie Way's restaurant at the and it, it, universe. Yeah. yeah, it was like suggesting like different parts yeah. of its body. I, I can recommend my rump, sir. <laughs> and that's what it makes me think of. Now, that was not meant to be cute, was no. it? No, it wasn't. Because <laughs> it's disturbing. Mm. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, other people don't find that disturbing. He's also got on the cooker there, he's got a cooker. He's the only one that's got a cooker in his room uh, with the pot on. It's probably got oil in it because he's always wanting to be fried as well. It's uh, very disturbing. And the game for this character actually involves frying him in hot fat. Oh, I don't want to play that. <laughs> So, folks, I will show you this game. So, whilst it's a very disturbing premise for a game, the game itself is actually quite enjoyable if you forget what you're doing, that you're frying them and all that. So, what we have... Is he's got a, a certain heat that he really enjoys, but you've got to make sure you don't go into the red and overcook him. But if he's been sort of fried in this orange part, he absolutely loves. Ah! Ah, I went too hot. You burnt him. I've got 200 uh, yeah. points though. Mm. So, yeah, you have to, like, try and keep him in that... Uh... Golden zone. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've been using Google Translate to translate some of the stuff that's oh, yeah. on the screen. And we'll look at that in a little while. Mm -hmm. So I translated the message that they leave when they run away. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, but I know I'm often wondered what it meant. And I've also translated a little bit from the diaries because they write a diary ah, every day of right. uh, things that ha have happened which is really cute yeah hey what's going on here once the uh looks like a dream is it a dream no Something. I have no idea what that was about, but I got 300 points for it. I, that's never the, happened before. So the penguin was asleep and um, something, something seems to be creeping up. He got, he got an intruder. 
I have no idea what was going on there. That was really strange. So first of all today, we're going to look at clothing accessories. Looks like he's just got a hat. Ah, these are things you can buy. Well, yes, you can go to the supermarket and buy clothes, but I, I just got given something then for looking after him. Right. So he's got a hat. So let's... Oh, look, something's... Uh, that thing at the window, is that I the, think that's that, what came was, in. Yeah, it was creeping up I think that's what the creeped up on him. I don't know what it is. So we're going to go to clothes. So you've got like a bow to symbolise... Oh, who's this now? <laughs> My goodness, it's, it's, it's all going on in yeah. the penguins' room today. He's on a stage. So, yes, because he's like doing a catwalk. So you can have a flower... Mm. Oh, I like the hat. Mm. Oh, just that's what I just got there for right, waking yeah. him up. It's a bit Mr. Ben like that, isn't it? <laughs> Almost like a bowler. So we'll have that. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> so let's have a look at someone else. We've got Tutatsku. So let's see if we can get him some attire. Okay, so you could have that little flower. <laughs> that looks like he's in the army. It's like um. What's the question? It's like one of the. I don't. Not, maybe I. I'm not sure if I can actually have that yet. Maybe. So in that case, we'll just stick with the flower. Okay. And he likes it as well. Oh, he's got his little shrimp friend from mm. back. Well, at least he's not obsessing about being fed now. He's not lying on the plate being dressed with lemon. Mm. He's taking his mind off it. Good. Ah, I wonder if he's going off to the mirror to have a look. Somebody's run away, not sure who. Ah, now we've got Takage. Ah, seems to have got a, a birthday cake. Like a party cake. Mm -hmm. That's fish, isn't it? Was that fish? Yeah, I didn't, I, it's not one out his tank because he's still got two there. Mm. I think the ones in the tank are, are pets. Yeah. So you're gonna get get him some attire, yeah. Now I'm not sure. Oh yes, I've still got a little pink flower. Bowler uh, hat. Is that the same hat as mm, the? I think it is. Tin hat. With a question mark. I think I'll go to the shop and get him something different. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they always send her, don't they? Okay, so we've got traps, we've got food, we've got cooking in ingredients. Ah, I thought you could get... It um, doesn't look like you can you get, get clothes. clothes. You can't get any clothes. Uh, I'm not sure if you can with the friend... I thought you could buy clothes in the supermarket, but you must only be able to get clothes from looking after them ah. in the catch. So what we'll do instead is we'll get some ingredients to cook something because we've tried buying stuff at the supermarket. We did that in the last video. So we'll try getting some ingredients and cooking something this time. Right. What are you going for then? Uh, eggs mm -hmm. and cheese. Okay, you're going to make an omelette. Yes. So you've got to check out those items, I think. Yes. Uh, it's asking me to put the hand in. So it's not for mixing them together. Presume so. What's that? Oh, it's asking me to take it out and put it back in. Yeah, I think so. So you're going through the steps, and they're all joining in of making the omelette. It's a joint effort, and there the omelette is there on plate. So what do you do with it now, then? Is it asking you to save it, maybe? Hmm. Let's uh, try and get the translator on. Okay, so this is what it says on Google Translate. Do you want to cook some more? Yes or stop? So you've got to highlight no and then select it. 
So it looks like nothing happens. It's right. it looks like you just do that to cook something, so but maybe, it doesn't the... set, it doesn't look like you can actually feed them the item. So maybe they all share it. So if you go back to um, yeah, you could have a look in the food store and see the omelets there. Although it wouldn't make sense to store an omelet in the cupboard, would it? It can go off. Yeah. No, it's not there. So yeah, you can only put groceries in the cupboard then mm. and clothes. I, th I find that very uh, unsatisfactory. Mm. That you choose ingredients, you watch them making something, and then you can't feed it to but others. But you can't see them enjoying it. Mm. It's a bit of an oversight, isn't it? As I said earlier, I got some screenshots using Google Translate. Ah, oh, it's pretty good, that yeah. So this first one is a translation of the note that's left when they leave the room. <laughs> so it says, "I'm going to look for another corner, polar bear." It makes you feel a bit bad, doesn't it? Well, it could, could it could be worse. The it message could be if, worse, if... yeah. Because um, the thing about the Samiko Garashi is, I think it actually translates as uh, life in the corner. Oh, yeah. Because they, um, the, one of the main things about them is that they, they found a safe corner to yeah. live. Yeah, They were all looking for somewhere. Insulated against the world yeah. sort of thing, yeah. yeah. Now, this next one, uh, it says seven days, 16 days, but it, it said that, after like a couple of seconds at first it said 16 days old mm -hmm. and i think that was the correct translation because you know i've I'd had the cat 16 days ah, at this point right. and it says refreshing with the bath it feels good <laughs> so what this is from is their diary yeah because each yeah, of them that, yeah. write in the diary mm -hmm. every evening about the day. <laughs> right, so they so, so this particular day yeah. uh Neko had had a bath. Mm. So that's what he wrote about. And this was an event that took place when he was sixteen days old. And then the next one that I looked at was a couple of days before in his diary entries. Mm -hmm. So he's fourteen days old mm -hmm. here. Thank you for giving me lots of pats. Oh, that's sweet. How cute is yeah, that? Yeah. That's really lovely. I will actually, after we've looked at one more of these diary entries, I'll show you how you get to the diary on the actual device. But we've got one more. So this is a diary entry from Tokage. And this was when he was 16 days old as well. Swain swing looks cosy. <laughs> That's a funny thing to say about a swing, isn't it? Bit of an odd phrasing, yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe it's Google Translate. Maybe. So he was reminiscing about his day mm. at the park. Right. So we'll just have a quick look at how you get to the diary. Okay. So it's in the menu. That's that book there, is it? Yeah, mm. but you've got to go all the way along to get back to it. So that's the diary. Mm -hmm. So if we click on that, you can see... Ah, it's got little entries in, like a real diary. Yeah. Takage has made four diary entries on the 14th, 16th, 17th and 18th of July. <laughs> and you can look at, look at them individually, can you? Yeah. So you click on it. This is the... So... He must have been saying there, thank you for giving me lots of mm. pats. Mm. So I've been shopping and I've filled the food cupboard up. Hey, to Kage's friends there. Oh, yeah, the little snail. The, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last video, but the reason why I say snail, but it's not a snail, it's a slug. It pretends to be a snail. It puts right. a shell on its back, but it's like not actually attached to it. And is that a bit like Takage pretending to be a, a lizard? A lizard, when, when he's really, really he's... A Loch Ness monster, isn't he? Well, he's a baby dinosaur. Baby dinosaur, His yeah. mother is the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> yeah, so that's how they bonded, because yeah. they shared that business of hiding mm. what they really are. 
Okay, so the food cupboard is stocked up now. We've got oh, lots of good yeah. stuff there. So I shall give him some pancakes because this is the first time I've ever actually bought some pancakes. Mm. He's whistling a happy tune. He's looking Ex expectantly, isn't he? Expectation, yeah. Mm. I didn't get any hearts there, so he's not... Um, not his favourite food, then. Not crazy about mm. them. Well, you would expect that from a baby Loch Ness monster, wouldn't you? It's probably fish. Yeah, let's give him some fish. See if this is more to his palate. Oh, are you getting a heart? Yeah. There's another fish thing here. It looks like... Breaded fish. Maybe. Yeah, like fish and breadcrumbs. So, we'll give him that. See if he likes that as much as the other fish. Yes, he mm. just loves any kind of fish. So that about winds it up for this video. Still got a couple of games to show mm -hmm. in the next video. Yep. Also, I want to go to the library because we've never been to the oh, library. Well, we can take books out there. <laughs> um, you get lots of um, pictures right. that are stored right. in, in books in the library. And we'll also look at the area of catch which basically you catch a smiko mm -hmm. and then you get like a photograph that goes in the library oh, right. and you set you can set certain traps but some of them are really nice because they'll be like sort of a comfy cushion or <laughs> a spa so we'll, we'll go to the shop and we'll buy some of the nicer traps yeah and then we'll go to the catch area see if we can catch some and then we'll have a look at the library right and we'll look at the last couple of games mm, okay. so that'll be in the next video which will probably be the last video on the smiko catch because i think we've pretty much covered everything now haven't we i think so yeah so folks i hope you found that entertaining to some degree Thanks for watching as always and hope to see you next time.